Welcome to Turn 3. I would hope that by now PLC Centenary Marketing Campaign has come to your attention. Among the special initiatives undertaken this year is a major billboard and press campaign promoting and celebrating the 100 years of inspiring women. These billboards, press and advertisements feature six inspirational PLC women and they will be appearing throughout the year. The campaign, launched to coincide with the start of the school year, has to date featured orthopaedic surgeon Dr Kate Stanage, current student and actor Olivia de Jong, and Aboriginal mentor and advocate Josie Jance. Three more inspiring PLC women will be revealed during the second half of this year. In addition to the selected traditional commercial billboard locations are a series of illuminated windows along Stirling Highway opposite Christchurch Grammar. Other sites include boards around this school. It is our intention to profile 100 inspiring women by the end of the centenary year. The inspiring women can be viewed on our centenary website at plc100.info. Our centenary celebrations continue in semester two with a number of very special events planned. Wednesday 19th of August marks Founders Day. On this day we celebrate our 100th year of providing education to young women in Western Australia. We acknowledge and give thanks to our founders for their courage, vision and faith and for establishing the enduring values of education for women, community spirit, integrity and effort. A service will be held in the Hugh Baird Sports Centre at 1pm, during which our school history book, This Little World, will be launched. All PLC families will receive a copy of this book, along with a copy of the whole school photograph taken in Term 2. The cost of these will be placed on your school account, with the option of returning the items should you not wish to retain them. At the conclusion of the Founders Day service, the students will move onto the Oval and around the school for a birthday party, a fun afternoon of food and entertainment, and of course, birthday cake. As a gift to the school to celebrate our centenary, the PLC Parents Committee and Parents at PLC have jointly commissioned a life-size sculpture. The official unveiling and naming ceremony of the commissioned piece by leading West Australian Mr Ayad Al-Kabuli will take place on Arts Day Thursday the 20th of August. I encourage you to enjoy an afternoon of listening pleasure with PLC's ensembles and special music performances at the Centenary Music Concert to be held at the Perth Concert Hall on Sunday 13th of September. The afternoon will commence with a performance from the PLC Master Pipe Band and conclude with the premiere of our new centenary song, Le Boro et Honor, with commissioned composer Paul Jarman in attendance. This song will be performed by a mass choir of students, old collegians and staff, over 300 performers. Tickets are available through Ticketek. All PLC Old Collegians and their friends are invited to commemorate our school's milestone year at the Old Collegians Association High Tea on Sunday the 20th of September. Each person attending will receive a 100 Years of Inspiring Women commemorative booklet profiling a representative group of PLC women, all of whom have made their mark, contributed to the community and who embody our school's values and ethos. In addition to our regular attendance at Rural Field Days, this term we will also hold a number of events for members of our rural community. On Friday 28th of August, I will host a function in Dandarigan, and on Friday the 4th of September, an event in Kojana. I encourage all current and former families to attend and be part of our centenary celebrations. Invitations will be forwarded shortly. Other events to note, are the Centenary Open Garden Day on Friday the 30th of October and our Centenary Speech Night on Thursday 10th of December. Nothing short of a miracle has occurred on our school campus across this July school break. Our pod is very close to completion and we will commence the term with an official opening of this space. It has of course been redesigned 
it sits flush with all the buildings alongside it and it makes for a wonderful recreational area that will serve our students well on a day-to-day -day basis as well as for ceremonial occasions in the future. We will mark the occasion with the beginning assembly for the term on Tuesday morning and we will be inviting our Year 12 students to cut the ribbon and have first access to this new space on our campus. The new senior school section of the campus is taking shape. Across these next two terms, it will be close to completion, ready for official opening in February 2016. This is my last official term as principal at PLC. It is of course with mixed feelings that I leave a school that has been part and parcel of my life for the last 18 years. What I will miss most are watching the young women in this school grow from small girls into mature and capable young women. I look at our current year sevens and eights with sadness knowing that I'm not going to be part of that journey. However, for each there is a season and I am looking forward to the excitement and the challenge of a new position as Chief Executive of Heads of Independent Schools of Australia in Canberra. In term four, Kate Hadwin will commence her time as PLC's new principal. Kate and I will be working together across term four of this year, although Kate will be the official principal. I will be here to take special ceremonies such as a year 12 final assembly and valedictory service and of course our 100th anniversary speech night. Speech night this year will again be held at Chum Stadium. However, one of the things that we will be doing differently is that we will be seating all the students in a block by themselves. So unlike in the past where students have sat with their parents, this year they will be sitting with their peers in their year groups. Information on where they will need to assemble will be provided later in the year. I know there will be many occasions between now and the end of the year to say thank you, but I'll take this as an opportunity to also say what a privilege it has been to have been part of this very special community and thank you to all that have made it such. I'll leave here taking PLC with me.